Welcome back. I'm level 24 in Charduck Castle. Also, as a wizard says hi to you, as a wizard says hi to you, smack it in the face. Because this show is horrible. It's hurt more, does 20 to 30 damage. Mine does more. So, yeah. Far more importantly, let's kill the Dragon Lord already. I said let's kill the Dragon Lord already. Really? I haven't talked much about the game mechanics, have I? Except for the very beginning. Well, maximum level is 30. Maximum gold and experience is 65,535. Because that's the magic number that translates into bits. Yes, indeed. Because any arts carts were small in size. So they had to keep their numbers small. Unless it was absolutely necessary. So yes, the staircase is still there. From the previous venture, where it got Erdrick's sword. Now, contrary to popular belief, you don't even need Erdrick's sword or Erdrick's armor to win the game. Although it is very, very helpful. And let me pull up my famous map here. So I can make sure I tell you which way is the right way, and not spend a whole bunch of minutes getting lost. Because my memory isn't that good. Sue me. Charlock Castle. Here we go. And along the way, I'll throw out tidbits here and there. We haven't met every enemy in the game, obviously. Besides red dragons, which you know about, there are also a few other knights and in random columns you might see along the way. Although, although considering how deep they are, you probably just want to run away and finish the game. But we shall find at least one of each. I'm confident. Probably too confident. Being confident could be bad. It could lead to your downfall. Also, believing everything everybody says could lead to your downfall. Really? More on that later. Also, as you travel along here... Where was I? Yes, traveling along here. And I still haven't met a few of these guys. Oh well. Yeah, I'm looking for the new type of enemy. There he is! A stone man! Stone Man, as you would figure, has a lot of defense, but he also has a lot of hit points. Oh my gosh, more than 90 hit points? Yes, in fact, more than 100. More than 120 for you keeping track. Yes, they can have up to 160 hit points. That's a lot. Okay, he doesn't have as much defense as I thought he did. But, considering all things, Stone Man got turned to gravel. And let's go down the stairs here. And maybe meet some harder enemies along the way. Because after all, the Dragon Lord demands his pudding. That made no sense. Sorry, I have to do a little readjusting here and there. Not that kind of adjusting. You shameful person. Speaking of shameful... Speaking of shameful, if you talk to the king when you're level 30, he will ask you, why haven't you beat the Dragon Lord yet? That is a good question. Well, sure, you could beat him at level 1, theoretically. With extreme manipulation of luck. <laughs> but honestly, level 19, lowest I can recommend. Because in normal play, Human War will be absolutely vital in our final battle. Dragon Lore's a wimp. Oh, really? Radiant. 
still try to conserve if you can. If needed, use a herb along the way. But keep one or two keys, just in case. Listen how deep that music is. It's scaring you, isn't it? That means we're deep. We're in deep trouble. Hopefully your Erdrick Summer will be recovering your hit points along the way. Which of course will make a feat in defeating the Dragon Lord, even getting to the Dragon Lord. Reasonable. Speaking of reasonable, I haven't met either of my last two enemies yet, have I? Well, let's keep on going further down. Oh my. Level 7. How deep is this dungeon? 8 levels. I'll show the map once again at the end of this video. And here we are. And there he is. The Dragon Lord. Sitting on his throne at the bottom of a castle, surrounded by water. I know I can't yell to him from here. That's just stupid. Speaking of stupid stuff, let's press on. Because surely where there's a dragon lord, a dragon would have treasure. Oh my, a red dragon. And it looks a little more brownish to me, but it hits very hard. Also, it does refire. Also, it casts a spell sleep, but the highest experience next to Middle Slime, 100. So if you have guts, I want to be a macho list. You can actually grind all the way to 30. Just to see how powerful we can beat the Dragon Lord. If you can beat the Dragon Lord. But what about this? Treasure at the end of the game? This is ridiculous. So let's get us some delicious treasure. It's what we came for. Next to the treasure of Princess Gwalen's heart and her treasure box. That was also so wrong. Yay, herb! And I found a cursed belt. Yep, one of these down here. And a magic key. I already used a key. That's silly. I won't need a key anymore. Of gold, I don't need gold. That was a lot of gold. And that would have been an herb, most likely. And I found wings. Yeah, wings at the bottom of the Dragon Lord's castle. And here's our final enemy, the Armored Knight. Now he has around 80, 90-ish hit points. And he has a decent attack, decent defense, but he can cast Heal More. So, yeah. And he doesn't give quite as much experience as the Red Dragon, so... Hmm. Not worth my time. Me constantly running into enemies. But, enjoy more. The playthrough of Dragon Warrior. By Magma. But remember, I'm Magma WK. So add that WK for your for your special style. And this is got to be one of the worst architectures I have ever seen for a castle. Seriously. In fact, part of the castle is gone. Yeah, a bunch of splotches everywhere. That needed bridges to repair them. Rotted vegetation. Dried up land. Who's your interior decorator? It's like somebody blew a hole at the bottom of a thing. And we'll be having a nice little chat there with our friend, 
The Dragon Lord. Maybe we'll make him come to his senses. Magma, okay? Same. Hold on. Thank you.